Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Good afternoon. Autumn is here. <laughs> and uh, it's a really good time to think, to replan, redo things, split plants, move things around. It's actually the best time. So I have been doing that for a few days now and uh, yeah please join me and enjoy the video and i hope to see you again next time this one is my red currant and i'll be taking it out half of it is already dead they don't usually last that long so i replace this every 10 years because it's a uh, I don't know how you call it, grafted on top of a trunk, of a stronger trunk. And uh, just like I said, they don't last that long. It carries so many berries every year. And uh, since it's growing too big over here anyway, I'll take it out now and plant another one some other place and I will be planting another hydrangea over here there is also another plant under that I already cut it's the uh, shrubby Veronica that grew so huge and uh, it's hindering people from walking there so I already cut off a lot and I have to dig the roots out so that's the other half of the red current that already died so I'll have to take it out now so I can plant the hydrangeas I bought they were on sale half price <laughs> so I just grabbed them and I want to plant one here So I was able to dig out the roots of the red currant and the uh, shrubby plant. And I will go and get some of my compost. They are now ripe in one container. So I will mix it with a lot of compost and then I'll start planting. 
So these are the hydrangeas that I bought. 50% off. Of course, they don't look good anymore, but they'll come back in springtime. So one to the left is the Ruby Annabelle. And I will find a place close to the shade garden for it. And uh, the middle one is the uh, Hydrangea Living Infinity. It's a paniculata, but it only grows 90 centimeters high. So I'm still debating which one, the Infinity or the Early Harry. To the right is the Early Harry. It has uh, red stems and white blooms with some shades of pink. This one grows up to 150 centimeters, which will probably be just ideal in that corner. Okay, I'll check that out. <laughs> Either one of them. So this one is the Living Infinity and it starts having white blooms in June up to October. Then they turn pinkish like this one. But it only grows 90 centimeters high. So I'll have to decide after I put my compost in there. So this is now the third bucket of compost soil from my composter. And I think that will be okay. I'll just mix it and then I'll start planting. I decided to plant the early hairy hydrangea because it's uh, taller than the other two. It's 150 centimeters and it starts putting out the flowers end of April. So it's just the right spot. And uh, I will be buying some mulch just to protect it from the cold. It is winter hardy up to minus 30 degrees centigrade. But since I just planted it, I'd like to mulch around it just to protect it. I found a spot for my Ruby Annabelle and that's over there. It can stay in half shade too. So this is south side, but it gets a lot of shade from all the plants around it. And um, I think it's an ideal place for it. I will be digging out some virginia, amending the soil with some compost, and then I will be planting the uh, Ruby Annabelle there in that spot. So I would like to take out the uh, dark sedum. I think it's the night evers because it's very close to one of my micro drip sprayer. And as you can see, it's flopping. So I'll take it out, transfer it some other place, and uh, I think it's a good spot for my Living Infinity Hydrangea. Although maybe it will also look good in front, close to the uh, mailbox. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to decide later. <laughs> 